you very much uh, for everything. I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to present some progress in Poland in last, in, uh, uh, during the last time. I will speak about Ray Baltica, but not only about Ray Baltica, because today is, uh, almost everything is about Ray Baltica. So there will be some, uh, some, some other topics in my presentation as well. I also agreed with my Finnish colleague that I will speak five minutes, and then she concludes with 35 minutes speech. <laughs> okay, so uh, first I would like to, to start when Mr. Merhel, CEO of PLK, concluded. Uh, Ray Baltica in Poland, the decision was taken to make it a little bit more impressive. So uh, from Warsaw to Ełk will be 200 kilometers per hour for passenger trains, maximum speed. And then from Ełk to the Lithuanian border is supposed to have 20, 250 with complete, almost complete new routing. That creates some challenges. Uh, as was also, as was, as was already said, uh, Maybe I'll start with my presentation, because otherwise it will be difficult then just... Okay, so this is, the, this is Poland. This is a little bit misleading map we got from our infrastructure manager. Uh, and um, here I would like to point on what I'm talking about here. So, if here is Warsaw, then here is Białystok. And two-thirds of this section is more or less complete. We completed uh, f uh, in 2015 first section to Sadovne. Uh, lately, we almost completed uh, to uh, Chizhev, the second section. And um, now uh, we got environmental decision and we're starting um, tenders for construction for the last section to Białystok. So the decision is taken to, to build the last section to Białystok uh, for, for 200 and to upgrade existing, existing part for 200 as well, that would cost us additional 150 million euro, and uh, then design study, uh, design works are on this section from, uh, from Białystok to Ełk. This will be designed uh, for 200, and then a complete new section uh, from, from Elk to the border, which I said before, and then total cost of Ray Baltica and Poland, we assume right now, would, ex would be more than 3.5 billion euro. Therefore, right now, quite intensive talks um, among uh, the Commission, INEA, and uh, our Minister of Development are taking place in order to secure more money. This is the first of three slides I present for today. Today there won't be any slides with animals. Last time I know it was with some mixed feelings, my slides with animals. But perhaps the next, if I will be allowed, then we will find some animal to present you. I assume that at least some of you remember my presentation from uh, Riga uh, two years ago. We have a moose and a bird there. So, on this slide, as I said, it's a little bit misleading. We've got three categories of lines. Green, uh, blue, blue one, blue are completed within the previous perspective. Green are completed or will be completed within this perspective. And why misleading? Because part of green are actually blue. Some of our projects from the previous perspective were phased out and f uh, completed within this perspective. Therefore, they are blue. But for instance, this project here, from Krakow to Tarnów, 3.7 billion zloty project, was almost completed within the next perspective, so it should be blue, but it's not. So uh, this is to present you uh, our net network approach and what is the, that the Ray Baltic and Poland is a part of bigger picture. And uh, as we think, we, we, we try to use the, our, pre, our presence in the EU, EU to rebuild our, infra our infrastructure and to rebuild our railways. And to some extent, we did it. Uh, this is uh, what was done. Green are almost done and supposed to be done by the end of uh, qualification. Uh, um, this period, so 
by 2023, red ones are, I would call them flagship of the next perspective. We still don't know about the exact numbers for the next perspective, so we were not able to put all red uh, lines here. And we, ha we have also different ideas concerning the, ne uh, the, the, the next perspective. This will be in my next slide. So this, the quite limited number of those red here, red lines here, but the red is to make the network complete. You can see, for instance, this one is a line number 12, Southern Bypass of Warsaw for freight. This is red, uh, line number, this is, this is red, uh, line number 202, uh, coastline, will be also upgraded uh, uh, with, with the second track build because it's partially single track line right now. So when we, when we discussing Rebaltica and Poland, we would like to, to, be, to be this project seen a little bit as a part of this whole, because usually you have to answer your customers' needs, and your customers very often would like to, to go this direction Tuesday, but this direction Friday. It's also about uh, freight cargo. We don't have uh, so many yearly timetable of cargo uh, trains as we did previously with plenty of uh, trains loaded with coal, iron ore and so on and so on. So this is actually what we uh, achieved and what we're going to achieve within the three perspectives. And this slide cannot be seen as completed without this one. This is actually, uh, this is actually main, main topic, main railway topic in Poland right now. The government took decision to uh, launch investment, huge investment plan con uh, concerning uh, central airport and supplementation of the railway network in order to strengthen the cohesion of the country. And within the 10 years, we should have complete the first <coughs> section. Actually, according to our plans, it should be completed by 2027. So we, then we should have somewhere here, 35 kilometers south uh, west of uh, Warsaw, we should have the airport. Sorry. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't see what I'm <laughs> looking at. So, yeah, but you already know, uh, you, have, you know this already. So somewhere here, if this is, if this is 35 kilometers from Warsaw, then here is the airport in 2027, and then we've got a new high-speed line, 250 line from Warsaw to the airport, then to Łódź, and then this line will be connected uh, be behind the airport. It should be connected with the line to Poznan. Thank you, that would be much better. Then I'll be more certain what I'm talking about. Yes. This, so this is the airport. So this is 35 kilometers from Warsaw. Here is the Łódź. So this should supposed to be the first, the first section of the whole, of the whole investment. This, how it looks here, is presume new network around 2045, 2050, when I'll be long dead or retired. So, of course, not, not, it's not that all of those lines will be built. It's the mixture, mixture of uh, new 250, 250 slash faster. You mean, I mean, we, we would like to build a, a line with the routing that would allow us to go 350, but start with 250 uh, services. So if here is this, this, this uh, airport, in order to have this airport feasible, we would like all the people in Poland to use it at least twice a year, and probably you too. So our, our, our offer is to 
allow everybody from a whole country, with exception of Szczecin. Szczecin is too, too far away. So <laughs> everybody should be able to get here within two hours. And probably it will be easier f to, 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 uh, to, to, uh, to propose this possibility f for southern Lit Lit Lithuania than to uh, western Pomerania. So, the, the, actually, there were two grants for our dis decision to upgrade parameters of our section of Rybaltica. First, that we would like to align with your approach, and secondly, this decision. If we are going to build, uh, build uh, so much new infrastructure, we can also upgrade a little bit uh, Rybaltica in order to attract people from Kaunas or Vilnius to use our airport. But of course, the same is, suppo is supposed to be proposed for people in, in sorry, this is not, from, from pe uh, to people from, from, from Czech Republic or uh, from, from uh, Ukraine, because you can see more or less red ones are new constructed lines, blue lines are modernized part of existing network. And this uh, completed is supposed to, to really offer uh, people that live in every part of our country uh, similar access to, 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 to other regions, to main hubs, to the airport, and to really improve chances for people living in more peripheral areas of the country. So we should actually put this map on the previous one, but I'm not brave enough to do it. Therefore, I presented you with two slides. Because as I, as, as I said, previous one will be completed within the next perspective. This one will be completed for uh, mid 40s, maybe a little bit later. Of course, there are some priorities. As I said, we'll start with this one, then temporarily will be uh, linked with this line here to Katowice and Kraków, and here to Poznań. Then we uh, completed a uh, new line from Warsaw and uh, airport to Wrocław because Wrocław uh, as the fourth biggest country has relatively mm, weak access to Warsaw. Uh, the fastest train now it took for fastest train three, po uh, three hours 35 minutes so it's not satisfactory time of the journey and what I, and then, then the rest of the, the network will be completed. For instance, this, one, this line will be built, and then we would like to put all long distance passenger trains from Warsaw to Poznań with this red line, and existing here, this one, this is current line number three, uh, which is actually upgraded li right now, but this, uh, this, this, this uh, works, uh, focus on improving conditions for freight and regional. So this line will be more or less, sorry, this, they are so small, those buttons. So, so, so this line will be more for freight, this will be for fast uh, passenger trains. And then we will s complete with the, whole, uh, with the whole network as you, see, as you see right now. And possible, I think that this one, this here line to Zielonagura, or this to Gizitsko and Pish will be probably the last one to complete. But those, this slide and previous one are about the big infrastructure, the big infrastructure project that are to reshape uh, railway in Poland. And for now, we've got the, we'll call them, call it third pillar of, uh, of returning railways in Poland. So this is so-called uh, Kolej Plus. So this is, the, 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 the very short information on the very short information on the pro on this on this program Collie Blues you've got on the slide. So I probably I won't read it because I don't know if I'm no I, I could do it, but still it's on the slide. What I would like to add for what is on the slide that this 
idea to rebuild very local, very um, uh, with no such a high standards connections to really increase um, mobility of uh, people from rural areas and smaller towns. To this program is supposed to be uh, uh, will be uh, completed by uh, central government with very strong involvement of local governments. We expect regions to cover up to 15% of the program. And actually the regions is supposed to give us the information what are their priorities to, to bring a railway to local populations. And this program, of course, is supplemented with a, a additional program uh, to give additional money for coaches services. We would like that every commune would be given proper services. So, for instance, uh, children could choose the school be, um, because what they like, not because what is achievable. So, there are three pillars of uh, development of railways in Poland we would like to share with you. Uh, usage of uh, European funds, that was, that was the first slide. Then Central uh, Communication Hub, the second slide, and this one, uh, Colley Plus, means Railways Plus. So that would be all from me. Thank you very much. I still got three minutes, but it will be used to deliver us information about Finnish development. Thank you very much. <laughs>